Hey everyone, how are we all today? I really hope you guys... That's not my usual intro. Back, Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing another St. Patrick's Day tutorial since we have a few more days till it actually happens, which is the 17th of March it happens. So this is the second look out of the series I've made. In my last video when I made another St. Patrick's Day look, uh, the colour actually turned out a bit turquoise and it was green, but it looks so green in the palette, I'm so confused, but it's the only colour I have that is the closest to green, and I think I'm just going to stick with it, and I apologise for that, I don't have time to go out and get a green palette. So in today's look, it's going to be a bit heavier, a bit darker, a bit sexier, if you will. St. Patrick's Day. Without further ado, we'll stop talking and we'll get straight on with the look. We're going to start off straight away with some tape. I want to tape off my, my eyes because I want a straight edge this time. So with the eyes all cut off, we're going to go into this product. This is a YSL pro product. This is an Eye Geo Smoker. It's got two sides to it and one side is like a very metallic, very grey green colour and then a black colour. These are so creamy, they blend so really well. With the black side of the YSL Smoky Duo 2, I'm going to line the outer corner of my eyes like that, and then bring it in from the crease and into the crease. Because it is a very thick tip, we're not actually doing any longer lines or any thin lines, we have to blend that out. And same with this other eye too. Like that. If you want to, you can line it as well. Like line your lid. But I'm only going to go halfway. It is so creamy and so nice. With a small pointed liner brush. This is a brush that is that I, I newly bought and this is from Royal and Lang Nickel Lang Nickel Lang Nickel I say that silk pro brush and we're gonna use this this is the pointed liner BC440 brush and we're going to blend all that so we have like a nice smooth edge of everything we're going to blend blend sorry this top line into the crease and come down stopping right there Because it blends so well, it blends out like like nothing. So blending that pretty far into the crease, I'm stopping back here. Like that, like a really thick, kind of smoky eye, but that's not what we're going for. And the same with this eye. Then with that green colour again in the Buys palette, this is again the Buys 18 Vertical Colour palette mixed too with this green colour here. And with this colour we're going to spray my brush and pack it on all over the lid, even if it goes over this black. I'm using the same brush as before in my last video, this is the, the 232 Luxe Classic Shader from Zoeva, and we're going to pack this all over the lid. And and stopping into the crease. Using a liquid eyeliner, this is the Kat Von D ink liner in the color Trooper. And using this, we're going to line my crease so it comes forward. I'll show you. And we're going to line my crease. Uh oh. I've gotten it everywhere. 
was my fault. I was holding it like that and like that. So I'm just going to use a clean concealer brush and <laughs> clean it up. Okay, so I, I was off camera cleaning up my crease because I got the eyeliner everywhere and all I've done was line the top, like lined my crease, the top of the green and the top of that black colour and I lined it right across to the tape, cleaned up the top so nothing passed that black liner and lined the bottom like a cat wing but I didn't go across the the, the eyelash liner or anything and we're going to do the exact same as what I did on this eye on this So there is a little bit of a cleanup I need to do after doing that eye. So just with the Q-tip, I'm spraying some makeup remover on it. I'm just going to clean up everything above that eye liner. This, I'm going to use this white colour, this one here, in the bias palette just in the inner corner to brighten everything up. So where's my best friend brush? I found it. And just using the, the tip of the brush, we're going to go into that white shade. <laughs> Now we're going to take the tape off and we're going to work on my lower lash line. Going in with the Pencil Inner Corner 117 Cheeky Professional brush, spraying in a little bit and going back into that green colour. We're going to line my lower lash line. <laughs> pretty much going to mimic the top what's this called the top lid on my lower lash and now I'm going to go in with that black liner again and a very small petite brush using that first brand in the beginning the Royal and Lang Nickel Silk Pro brush this is the flat liner BC 450 and it's like really flat, like a little, very thin, very flat. And we're going to go right across like this on that black color. And this is going to go where the black only is on my lower lash. I have two of those pencil brushes, so I'm using the more cleaner one to blend that black and the green on my lower line. Um, into each other. There's a green speck of shadow in my eye. <laughs> I can feel it everywhere it moves. <laughs> and as quick as it was, we're actually done. That's it. It's a very easy, quick and simple way to celebrate your St. Patrick's Day. I will apply some lashes now. I am using the Duo Adhesive. I'm going to use the House of Lashes Wis Temp Temptress Wispy. And I'm using the Rimmel London Super Color 24 Hour Mascara. And I'm going to apply that off camera and I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, so lashes are on. Everything is done. It was a very quick and easy tutorial. Anyone can do this for St. Patrick's Day or even any outgoing occasion. I just want to say one thing before I do my outro and leave. I have to change my uploading times to two days a week not three days so skip Friday because I, I, I've actually had some family business that comes up on Fridays now and I actually actually can't film that day. So it just suddenly changed and that's why I didn't upload yesterday. So there's going to be one on Monday and one on the weekend. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look, St. Patrick number two. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did like it, please drop down a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will appreciate that so much. And I hope you guys have a really good day or a good night, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is Monday. And until then, bye guys.